Hey, how's it going? Seth with Air Theater Designs here. We've got Ethan behind the camera today and uh, kind of excited. We've got in the new Eero Max 7, Wi Fi 7, latest and greatest Wi Fi gateway. And uh, we sell a lot of Eero. We've actually sold uh, 819, that's not a fib. 819 over the last number of years. We've installed more because some of these are client sourced, but uh, we dig Eero a lot and we'll tell you why in a couple minutes here. But let's do this. We're going to go over the technology of our new beautiful unit. We're going to talk about the pros and the cons of this compared to the Pro 6E and just kind of pros of Eero in general. And then just a kind of a quick summary and then we'll go from there. So first let's talk about the technology with this guy. So, Wi-Fi 7 standard, yay, latest and greatest. Latest and greatest is always a good thing to have. So, one are your potential speeds. So, Wi-Fi 7 allows for up to 40 gigs at peak speeds, and on this unit you have two 2.5 gig ports and two 10 gig ports. Now, realistically, you're not doing anything with those types of speeds these days. Well, not realistically, you're not. Um, and in most cases, even if those were available, you'd be limited by uh, the processing power and CPUs of your computer and that. But it's good to have that sort of uh, speed and processing for the future. Uh, another thing that you see with Wi-Fi 7 is that it gives you flexible channel utilization. That really helps to cut down interference and that's great for office buildings, it's great for condos, that sort of things. And you get massive, massive. bandwidth with Wi-Fi 7. Nothing wrong with Massive bandwidth, right? Um, this guy covers up to, they claim, 2,500 square feet. And uh, we'll talk about what a square foot is and how that actually propagates in certain homes. But that's a good thing. So for a lot of homes, you can just use one of these to cover up everything. Um, you've got four ports built in, so you can really use three of these. And that's kind of advantage over the old Eero where you had one. So you can plug your devices in, don't have to go with a separate switch. So that's a good thing. This comes with six months of Eero Plus. Eero Plus is their uh, paid plan where uh, you, know, you can sign up monthly or yearly. You've got a VPN, you've got uh, advanced parental controls, which is a good thing. Uh, you've got ad blocking, uh, you've got app blocking, I know my nephew who loves Roblox would be all bent out of shape over that one. You know, oh, it's 10 o'clock, you're not going to bed yet, bink, no more Roblox for you. So that's a cool thing. Um, I want to hit on the outages option with Eero and why us as Wi-Fi guys, why we love it. So if you are a pro installer, one of the things, pro installer is kind of the term, um, one of the things that Eero allows us to do and why we love it is let's say if a client calls and they go, hey, I got a problem with my Zoom call, I got a problem with this not connecting. We're able to touch a button in our app and if you install this yourself, you'd have access to the same app. And you can go in and you can check for network outages, or actually it's outages, and then it'll give you the option of either network or node. So as an example, we got a call a couple weeks ago from a client, help, uh, Zoom call isn't working. We're able to go in, we saw that that day, there were like 20 outages and we were able to see that it wasn't a network outage that would be from your provider, Cox, Spectrum, blah, 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 but it was from the node itself from that unit. So we knew that either that unit was bad or the cable going to it was bad. So with that information, we went out there, we swapped a new Eero for them. All of a sudden things were great. Eero was four plus years old, just went out. Then we monitored over the last couple weeks, we haven't seen any drops again. So we knew, A, that Eero went bad. That type of insight is invaluable um, because normally it would be, okay, well, is it your device that's having the problem? Is it your modem that's having the problem? Is it the provider? There, there'd be no way to tell. Uh, and we have a lot of times where we can fix things in literally just a couple minutes on the phone where with other Wi-Fi solutions out there, you don't have that capability. So for us, that's a huge thing with Eero's technology. And uh, you know, I'm sure you've got all those sweet, sweet Amazon bucks behind you. You can put these sort of tools in place that we don't see with a lot of other Wi-Fi companies that are out there. So that's a great thing. Pretty beefy build. You've probably seen me straining every time I try to pick the thing up. Uh, 3.2 pounds. And uh, Wi-Fi products typically run pretty hot. So with this thing, we'll show a cutaway in a minute here. 
Um, big, you know, good size heat sink in this thing, all vented from the top to help get rid of some of that heat. Uh, so that is a, uh, a great thing. You can also control uh, Zigbee, Matter, and thread routers with this piece. So if you are smart home, uh, do-it-yourself guy or gal, this is a, a cool gateway to be able to do that kind of stuff. Now we're going to talk about some pros of the Max 7 compared to the Pro 6E, which in the past was their best piece. So you do get better range with some applications. So they claim on their site you get 2,000 square feet of coverage with the Pro 6E. The square footage is kind of like, you know, for those of you who were alive back in the cordless phone days, when you'd buy a cordless phone, it would say, this one gives you 500 feet of coverage, you know, away from the base. This one gives you 1,000 feet. So you'd buy the AT&T number one rated consumer reports, 1,000 feet of range. You'd get 87 feet away and you'd be hearing your neighbor or you'd get static. You're like, hey, what's up here? It's supposed to be 1,000 feet, I'm 87 feet away. Um, so there was a little, uh, you know, fibbing in advertising there. We typically don't see out of a Pro 6E, you're getting 2,000 feet of coverage. And the other thing is all 2,000 square foot homes are not the same. So you might have where your 2,000 square foot home, your first Eero unit is on the far side of the house. In the center of the house, you've got a kitchen. Uh, Wi-Fi does not like to go through appliances. You got tile backsplashes, doesn't like that stuff. You got a bathroom right here. So you might have where that one unit doesn't come anywhere close to covering this other side. Where to contrast that, if the house is all kind of wide open, Wi-Fi is going to propagate through that much better. So we, we typically see that, let's say if somebody's got a 3,000 square foot house, typically with your Eero Pro 6, we normally would have anywhere from two to four units in that, depending on how much coverage that we need outside, like in a backyard area, and what's going on. This guy claims to do 2,500 square feet. Uh, so, you know, you get a little bit more range, and we'll talk about that as well, that what we saw in some of our testing. Um, you get better speeds, and you get more future ability. So right now, the difference in these speeds, you know, where, again, you've got up to 10G ports on this thing, nothing's supporting that right now. So these speeds don't really do anything to you right now. It's, it's really kind of future wear, but this is sort of where things are going. So if you want to buy something and you want to go, hey, I don't want to buy a new uh, router or a new mesh kit a year from now, two years from now, might make sense to do this so you're ready for the future. One thing as well is if you have units that propagate further, Using a single unit, it can be a benefit as opposed to using multiple Eros all over the place. As an example, so we have jobs where we've used up to, I think the most we've used in one job are eight. So when you've got Eros all over the place, one, is there's more of a chance of those things getting unplugged. So for example, we get the call a lot, housekeeper's over, starts vacuuming, na 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 na. Oh, I need to plug something in. Unplug the Eero, plug in the vacuum, na na na. Forget to plug it back in. Now that area isn't getting covered. If you've got fewer units around, less of a chance of that happening. Um, you're, the Eero products are supposed to do firmware updates automatically. Eh, they sometimes do, sometimes don't. So if you have fewer units that need to get updated, there's less of a chance of having problems. So that is a benefit of going with this over possibly going two or three separate Eero units. Again, we'll talk about what we saw in our testing. Um, so that is a pro of the Eero Max 7. Let's talk about some cons. One is I don't think it's doing 2,500 square feet in most options. So as an example, we just did a test with this guy and we, com we compared it in a house that already had two Eero units covering the house and then some fringe areas outside. Uh, the house was a little over 2,800 square feet. So we had in certain areas of the house this one unit was giving us better speeds than we saw with two units that were in this house currently. Uh, we had one area of the house, imagine here's your house, router was on this far side on this far wall. The upstairs bathroom, we were getting three times the speed with this compared to having the two separate units in place. Most other areas inside the house, the speeds were pretty similar. What we did see though were there were areas that were outside the house where we were getting coverage with the two Eros. This didn't work. We didn't even get a signal out there. And part of that is because, you know, when it comes to square footage, you can't really use that to gauge what you need because of things I mentioned. Like if you have appliances in a certain area, we had a client who in the center of his house, he had an office, he ended up 
uh, onyxing, I don't think that's really a word, but making all the walls onyx, which is rock. So if you got a rock center cube in the middle of your house, well, you got to get Wi-Fi around that thing. If you've got Wi-Fi propagating from here, you got rock onyx cube right here. Wi-Fi ain't going through that thing. So that's where having separate units where you can go around it could be very beneficial. So that is a benefit of going with separate units and kind of a con of just having the one. Um, the setup is a little clunky for this thing. So the way that Eero said it was supposed to work, and this is if you have an existing Eero system already. Normally, new system with Eero, they, they go together very quickly. If you have an existing system, Eero says, hey, set this up as a new uh, unit on your existing Eero uh, account. So for example, if there are two there, you'd set it up as a third one. That goes very quickly. Eero then says, okay, Unplug your Ethernet cable from your gateway, your first Eero. Take your new one, plug it in. Now it's going to be the gateway. That didn't work. We tried doing that for a long time. Eero ended up saying in one of our calls, okay, uh, call your ISP cable provider. Have them whitelist that unit, basically making it okay. It, we knew that wasn't the case. Uh, no, thank you very much. Uh, we then did the setup the way that you would normally do the setup, which is once it's included as a piece, unplug your modem, unplug the Eero unit, plug your modem back in, wait the five minutes, then plug in the Eero. Once we did that, that's the way you would normally set up a network, then it included. But that was a little bit clunky, again, especially if you listen to Eero's instructions on that. Um, there is no separate 2.4 gig band with Eero products, and this is uh, general through all their, their, their line. So the advantage of having a separate 2.4 network is if you have legacy devices, if you've got solar, a lot of times that'll use it. Um, being that mesh network products typically will send out your 5G and your 2.4G all as one network, you have to get further away, 2.4 propagates further than 5G. You have to get farther away for your devices to see it. Now with Eero, you can go in and you can tell it, hey, 5G, turn off for 15 minutes. Then your 2.4 devices can connect. But it's, it's not that intuitive, unless you've seen our, few, our past videos. Um, so if that's something that you're not familiar with, that can be a problem. We get a lot of calls on that one. Uh, another con can be the cost. You know, this guy's 600 bucks. So a lot of these features are very cool and forward thinking. But if you were comparing it to, let's say, the price of just getting two Pro 6E units, it is cheaper that way. So, um, you know, that's, that's something to, to consider. But anyways, those are our initial reviews of the Eero uh, Max 7 Wi-Fi 7 unit. Um, and once we've got, you know, we've 819 of these down, like we do regular Eero's. Regular Eero's, we would be an Eero professional. You do 819 or something, you get it down. This guy, we only got two. So we're gonna get a few more in place. We'll probably have a follow-up to this video. Uh, we're, we appreciate you stopping by. If this has been helpful for you, if you take a look in the description, we will have links to our affiliate pages where we can make a dollar or two if you buy it through there. So uh, please consider that. You know, we got a new camera a little while ago. Yay! And uh, these videos are expensive to do. So if you could help us out with that, that would be awesome. And then we can continue talking about this smart home stuff. So thank you very much for stopping by and you have a great weekend. We're out of here.